I could always rely on you. You could always rely on me. We're a team, a group. And we've spent our existence pretending that we aren't. What happens in the finale between Crowley and Xerophil is something that some fans have been yearning for for a very long time. Was there a pressure? Did you have any conversations about what this might mean to the fandom? Talk to me a little bit about like when you found out this was going to happen and kind of your initial reactions. Uh, well, you know, the relationship between Xerophil and Crowley obviously is something that uh, the audience seemed to really warm to. Mm. Uh, and obviously was part of why the idea of doing season two, you know, seemed like it could be something that could work. Following how that relationship develops has been something that the audiences have really got into. So we've taken that very seriously and Neil takes it incredibly seriously. So tracking that relationship and that journey between them, because obviously on the surface, they seem like they're complete opposites and yet clearly they're kind of compelled towards each other in all kinds of ways. And now that they've been, been cut off from their respective head offices they they only have each other so that sort of pulls them together a lot more doesn't it and the stakes are always high around them and they sort of end up going on a journey together but it takes them to different places and where we leave things well, at the end well that's the thing nothing is resolved so whatever happens and whatever you may have seen in the, the, the at the end of uh, episode six it, it's also important to note that that doesn't finish a story in yeah. fact that just take that just sort of ruptures things and it's takes the start things. of another story i forgive you Don't I think you have to be careful if there is something delicate that has that has generated a lot of excitement about uh, about where will that end up. If, as soon as you end up there, as soon as you finish that story, it's all over, mm. isn't it? Um, you don't really want to find out who killed Laura Palmer. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, no, I had... <laughs> Like you said, David, there is no resolution, which made me very happy because this feels primed for a third go around at some point. Have you had any conversations about that with Neil about like possibly keeping the story going? Well, if you've seen where series two ends, there's certainly there's the, there's the teasing of further tales to come. Isn't there? Whether we will ever find out what those tales are is in the lap of, well, certainly not in our lap. No, it's on the laps of the audience. <laughs> the laps of the audience, yes. We are sitting the firmly... The laptops of the audience, In the laps of the audience, as it's yeah. streaming. Yeah, it's not in my lap, I know that. When we first started Series 1, we always knew that the story went a lot further because Neil and Terry had talked about it. They just hadn't written it down, but we knew there were ideas, and we have not yet reached the end of those ideas. Yes. So, you know, if we get a chance to, to tell more of this story, it, it does already exist. Yes.